Right, welcome back to a new video. Uh, we've been to Cabo today on Sunday, but uh, Saturday was um, rained off. So uh, we went charity shop hunting instead. So I thought I'd show you what I got on the Saturday. Now, the first thing we picked up were these little things here. They're called monkeys and they're very popular in America. And we bought 23, uh, three, six, yeah, 23 of them. There was one missing. I mean, uh, two full sets then, and somebody's selling these now. A full set for a hundred pounds. Uh, well, I'll probably sell them separately for about ten pounds each. Uh, so hopefully, there's a bit of money there for that. Uh, the second thing we picked up then was this uh, Invicta Games Electronic Mastermind. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm hoping the pen is in there. If the pen is in there, it's about £25. If the pen is in there, it's about £16, and I paid four quid for it. But it's a profit there either way. Uh, this one here is a Sennheiser RS165 uh, headphones, wireless, has a charging stand, a charging cable, also extension lead, should you want to put it in to a socket. I paid £5 for it and um they sell for up to about 70 so uh this is in completely new condition the year muffs have cracked a bit so they are used but with a box hopefully i should get about 50 quid hopefully for it and uh, we've got three shirts then um first one here is a gloucester rugby shirt and it's got number three in the back it's got his but it's missing. Um, but for rugby, it doesn't really matter because rugby fans uh, don't do the buttons up anyway. But uh, I'll be off sixteen pounds on that. Hopefully, this one here is a, a green pea. I think it's called a green pea. I think it's called t-shirt pea green or a pretty green. Sorry, so I don't know nothing about fashion and. Um, Pick that up for a couple of pound, and uh, hopefully I'll go for about ten. Uh, just to keep the the site moving over. Then another one, uh, one ninety nine. I paid for this Goonies Never Say Die T-shirt. Again, paid two pounds for it, and uh, hopefully I'll get ten, twelve pounds for it, just to keep the eBay going. Then I seen this. Then <laughs> I seen this little button. Yeah, I thought, oh my god, is this a what is this little thing, like, you know? It's a stife. But no, it's, um, it's, uh, what they call it. Let's see the name here. A Wally plush. And, uh, he, um, tagged nothing. It goes about 50, or 15 pounds. So, hopefully that'll do it. And then we came to the, the buy of the day. A taxi driver Rob De Niro. And the thing is, it's a metal, it's a metal sign. And I've seen these, this is his original, I've seen these go for about £500. And, they, and they're the paper ones, cardboard. This is metal. So, I'm going to take it down to Sotheby's. And uh, hopefully I'm going to get a uh, appraisal of, of a thousand pounds for it. And uh, we can go there. So now we move on to the today's car boot video of what we got. Good morning. How much is PlayStations? Uh, £10 each. 
I'll take this one, yeah? Yeah, why? Oh, I shut my account there. How much is that? Five pounds. Oh, well. It takes 13 for two? Yeah. What? Yeah, I just shared my, my name. What do you think? I know you tried to leave that. Yeah. 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 If you are interested. I won the office for you. <laughs> How are you going? Oh, right? you're yeah, yeah. What's it asking on those? Oh, God knows. Oh, That's 10. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, dear, sorry. Oh, you're talking to me this morning, are you? I'll tell you the only one. I'll sing in a bit, guys. Bye. Oh, happy oh, birthday. Oh, thank you. I've already sent you one. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. That's what she wants to Oh, look. How much are your dolls? Yeah. Um, I think they vary from three to seven. Okay. Show me those, you see? Make sure you don't stay in their houses, please, babe. Oh, pets, that's fine. How much are your caps? Yeah. There's 11 there. 11 there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh, Give me 10. Okay. Perfect. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. I can't change it at the minute, I'm afraid. You come back shortly. Yeah. But I can put it aside either way, I'm not gonna.
<laughs> okay, I'm just going for that much. Be nice to me now. Be gentle. No, I can't be too gentle. Be right. gentle. Treat me like a woman. <laughs> I'll wait for you there, because... <clears throat> so I've got... Yeah, go on. Right, I can do... Fine all this. I can do this for a quid. Well, yeah. one. Go on, just add them up. Right, let me... Yeah. Well, I can do this for two quid, so you've got three quid there. Yeah. Right. Do two quid for that, yeah. so you got five all yeah. together. Right, this is, oh, on this one, two quid, so you got seven. Yeah. Right, this is where I guess. Got five on this. Yeah, go on. From the Bundesliga. Twelve. This is ten pound, it's match warm. Yeah, twelve. Go on. Me, Lincoln City, twenty-two. So 22. 22. And this is a five, so it's twenty-seven. Twenty-five pound cash? Pardon? Twenty-five pound cash? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> See you, didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> yeah. No, that's guards. There you go, man. Great. Cheers, man. What is it? Oh yeah, that's burner. So we got three. Yeah. So two for a pound, one for two pound, all right? Sweet. Oh, look, you want to take out, um... Ida. Yeah. 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 What's this? Mum, how about the kids you took them back? A pound. There you go. I haven't got a charger for it, the battery, it does turn slightly, but not fully. Thank you. How much your shirt? Uh, £2 for that, sir. Okay. How much your caps? Sorry? How much your caps? 50p. Three, four. <coughs> so I take six hats. How much? Is that, how much is that shirt? This one is a tenner. Is that your best price? Yes, mate. Yes, uh, immaculate. Check Sam? Ten mate, won't go no less than ten. I think you will. Nah, nah, nah. Probably I, th not. I think you will. Nah, not today. I think you will. He's going on eBay for 40 quid, mate. <laughs> That's for the shirt and the, I bought uh, six yeah, caps. Man, perfect. Okay, we'll go to eight then. Ten. Nine. Ten. Nine fifty. Ten. Nine six five. Ten. I hate you when I get it. Are you interested in the stuff then? Because I've got loads. What you got? I've got champions, an official Champions League tyre, a Europa League tyre, a Europa League tag. Alright. FA Cup 2 for this season. Let's have a look. That's the bag. I've got that most out there. Got that shirt as well. I've got an Addy Boyle shirt. Oh yeah, well he's not worth a tenner. Right, these are, these are European t-shirts. Okay. 
just about races and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever? I've got a Champions League tyre, Europa How much League tyre. Five are each, mate. Five are each. Well, it's all it's brand new. You hope I that one. Right. Yeah. That was a Champions League one that you got. That's a flag. You have that for two quid. That's a Spurs uh, Champions League key ring. Pound, mate. Not really. Not, not this way. Next week I'll have a few spare ones. No, I'll leave that. Yeah, Alright. Cheers. <laughs> What are you Yeah. Which one was that? Oh, that's a pound, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, mate, it's a pound. Oh, that's not wrong. But what I want to do is I'm trying to make sure it's low rather than... Something done now that I didn't put. I thought I had a pound on me. What's that for? Oh, I just yeah. How much is this here? That's a pound. I'll take that as well, yeah. yeah. What about your BMW badges? They're a pound as well. Uh, I think that's well. Yeah, big pound, yeah. That's it, see? Just kept me, kept me talking, I bought more from you. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so you've watched the video. Uh, now this is just the haul of what we got today. Uh, if you remember, we picked up a load of hats. Uh, we picked up about eleven. Uh, three were uh, one was damaged um, beyond repair. Um, so that that had to go. And the other two, there was no names to them. There was just no names to them, so no points. So I lost three, so I, I still had eight. And um, this one here is also missing its sticker, but because it's, uh, it's it might do all right, but I don't know. Um, quite a few New Yorks, New Yorks here. Um, they're, they're all the same size, though. They're not um, um, adjustable. Uh, but there's still money in them. There's still uh, eight, to, eight to 12 pounds in them each. A couple of them need washing, so that'll have to be sorted. Uh, this one here, this is the this is the, <laughs> this is the Obey here. Um, that's uh, quite a nice one. So um, that'll um, might do. That, that'll probably pay for the for the whole lot of his own anyway. So okay, and then we got these as well. There's no way to these uh, UEFA respects. I took a gamble, and I'm thinking you know there might be something in them, but there isn't. You know, there's just nothing in them. But these two, as these are the ones I should have got. Um, apparently, they do all right. So they'll pay for that, for what I paid out of that. This was the first pickup, I think, if I remember rightly, with the PlayStation. Great item. Consoles in there, TV adapters in there. No controller. And no power plug. I opened the box up, I had a look inside. I said, oh, that looks complete. Maybe when I go home. Two of them, two of the main components. So, uh, a, bit, a bit cross about that, you know. But, uh, let's see. Uh, this year, this year, paid a pound for this, and um, go about twenty pounds. So that's all right. Um, then uh, we also paid a pound for this. Uh, this is a camper van Volkswagen box. Uh, that'll go for about uh, 12 pounds. 
him there is 14 inches he's mr angry from the film inside out again he's about 14 pounds i paid three i think for him uh this one here i bought this from alan uh and um paid 50 pence for him i only bought him because i have had him before but because there's a, a lions tour happening this year so i thought you know you might double in price so uh, we'll have to see and if I make a bit of money, I'd have, I suppose I'll have to give out a bit of money for it. Uh, Harry Potter, Portions Challenge Game, about 12 quid. And uh, Tottenham Hotspur bag. Uh, nice little school bag. Uh, I don't know, I go seven, 7 to 10 pounds. Now this one here, he claimed this was match worn. Uh, I got this off camera. But um, I got it home and I thought, right, but this looks, this looks moody, you know. This looks really, really moody. So I thought, well, I better start checking out. So I got the serial number, the serial number matched up, and um, he said it was a uh, match worn. He reckoned. Comes in a presentation box too, and uh, it's got this play in the back. Adebayo, number six. I thought, oh, I'm going to check it out. And he did. He, the first season he went there, he, he, he was there for uh, two seasons on loan. And uh, first season he won, he, he played a uh, number six. And uh, second season he was number 28. And uh, this is the presentation box they came in. Real Madrid. If it's right, it's a hundred pounder all day long. If it's right, you know that's the thing. Right, then we we bought a lot of shirts from fella. Uh, one of them got through was Leicester City, and uh, it was I checked the serial number, and uh, it was a moody one. But you know, only paid a pound for it, so uh, the odd one does get through. Um, this one here is West Ham United training shirt. Um, I can't find out what season it's from, but uh, if it's right, that'll go for about £25. This one here is uh, Ireland Rugby. It'll have to be quite a small man, which is a size small, I think. Or size medium. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't get one arm in that. So uh, they're about £12, £15. This one here, Glasgow Rangers, uh, this was their Europa shirt they wore that season mainly for their away games. Everything uh, seems right for it, but it's got a little pull mark here, which is going to um, cost me a few pounds. But then this year then as well, um, everything else seems right for it, it's just this bit here I don't like. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of work about this one just to find out if this if this is real. It looks real. The serial numbers matches up on it. And uh, and everything. It's just that every other shirt is just... Um, it's vinyl. Where this one has been sewn in. So that's what's giving me the doubts. The Glasgow Rangers is sewn in, which I would expect. So I'd have to make more, um, more effort with that one. Uh, this one here has got player's name on the back. Uh, Whittle, number 15, he did play for Grimsby, uh, but unfortunately, uh, those little two or three digs in there, in the vinyl, has, um, might, might cost a few pounds, but uh, I, mean, I still expect about 15 pounds for it, you know, for, for the way it is. It's only a couple of seasons old. Now this one here again, this he claims was a uh, player worn, again Grimsby Town. Uh, I don't know which game it was. He, he didn't. He couldn't remember what game it was, but um, it's got Russell on the back. It's goalkeeper shirt. Everything matches up. I've checked it up. I've uh, I have checked it checked it out here. And this shirt, he did wear this shirt for the twenty twenty uh, season. So it does match up. So if it's right, that could be a seventy pounder. Again, you know we need more work. Oh, you put that way. Well, 
this is what I think of it. <laughs> right, okay, now we come to the, um, now we come, this one here. <clears throat> See, there's a player on the back of this, and he's called Louth. And he played for them between 2000 and 2004. And this shirt, I can't find nothing with this shirt for that, but I can find it at a later date. So I'm thinking maybe this might have been, I don't know. Yeah. And this one needs more investigation. Again, if this is right, if this is, if this is, is a 2000, 2004 shirt around that era then that could look in big bucks yeah it's, everything's right about it this one here it's gonna need a wash it's got a f quite a few stains yeah it's got it's gonna need a wash but this is a cracker of a shirt this is a 2020 2021 away shirt all matches up all the tags match up everything matches up in it and um that was a 20 year anniversary shirt for when they beat um, Arsenal in the FA Cup. And if I remember rightly, um, uh, was it, I, no, I don't know, no, it wasn't, it was that, um, uh, Paul Allen, wasn't it? Wasn't he the one who scored the goal there, I think? No, this was another one he told me about. This was found in a hotel room where in England, I must be most gullible bloke going, I'm telling you. I believe everybody be. Um, he reckons this was left in a hotel room uh, by the England team. Don't know if it's player issue. Not too sure. Um, I need to do a lot of investigation with this, but if it is right, it could be worth quite a bit. But proving it is another. Now, this would have been the winner of the day. This would have been the winner of the day, in my eyes. Because this is brand new in tag, Diatora. FC20, it's, it's lovely, 2010-2011, uh, all, all the uh, signs are right, um, everything is right about it, but <clears throat> number 10 for that season was Brian Ruiz, the American, anyway, some fella called Smith I stuck his freaking name there. <laughs> yeah, so when I got it, uh, I had to cut off there because the, the film ran out. Uh, when I got it, I seen the name Smith, so I googled it. FC20 player Smith, and the player came up. Uh, Matt Smith was to play for Man City. Uh, but I don't, yeah, I don't think he came until a lot later. So if that was him, brilliant. But I don't think it is. I know, but I know for a fact it's not him, because he came a lot later. But if he had been right, that would have been brilliant. FC20 shirts are very rare to find, very rare, uh, especially in this country. So I could have done quite well in that. But, you know, it's still a nice shirt. It'll still sell. Somebody will buy it, even with Smiths in it. There's a lot of Smiths in England, apparently. <laughs> and then this year, then, this f I thought this was just one of these in here. And I thought it's uh, either a bonnet sticker or a boot sticker. You know, you put on your, your emblem. But there isn't just one here. There's four here. And, you know, it's not plastic, it's metal. So, don't know how much that'll go for. But that, uh, for a pound, huh, that could be right. There's about four of them, I think. And that was it. That was all the finds of today now. Uh, I I don't normally do this, but because there was only one car boot, it was meant to go to a, a Hatfield. But um, we went home first because we left Amwell so early. It was about, we were about two hours before we had to go to a Hatfield. So I thought we'd go home and have a bit of breakfast and uh, go out then again because there was nothing on in Essex. Lazy Bones was cancelled yesterday. So, and then we got home. And then as we were, as we left then to go up to Hatfield, it just the skies just opened and it absolutely poured on. So we just turned around and came home again. So it saved us a journey. Right, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, 
and we'll see you next week. Next week is Cabo Saturday, hopefully, Sunday and Bank Holiday Monday. So we should have we could have three lots of good Cabos, hopefully. Okay, we'll see you then. Be lucky.